What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC. Welcome to you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. So today, um, we're going to do some like cool stuff here. Been heavy into that whole Master System stuff. You know, like loving it, loving the old carts, doing the, doing the cool things, playing the games. But <clears throat> I just found out something even cooler about Master System games in general and what we can do with them on the Retron 5 using the 3-in-1 adapter you can get for the Retron 5. So, <clears throat> what do I mean? Well, let's get on over to the Master System itself and uh, check this out. So, come on over. All right, so in the Master System right now, um, or the Retron 5 3 in 1 Master System Adapter, I've got Miracle Warriors Seal of the Dark Lord. So let's go ahead and hit play and see what's going on. <clears throat> so, as we see here, got the main menu going, we can hear the music, everything's cool. All right. Right? It's pretty good. But, did you know that there are some games which Miracle Warriors is one of that in case those highs that you're hearing are a little too harsh and you wanted to get like a different soundtrack? Well, did you know that those Master System games actually had not one but two soundtracks on them? Not all of them. Not all Master System games, but some. And, Master and Miracle Warriors is one of them. Now, it only really worked on the SG three thousand, the uh, the third, the third, the Mark three of the Sega Master System in Japan. You had to get a module. You plugged it into your Master System. You plugged in the game into the module, I think, and kind of like a IntelliVoice kind of thing. And then it had enhanced sound. It actually had a whole other soundtrack that is using frequency modulation or FM, right? Um, where this is the standard chip tune from the standard sound chip that was in the um, the master system itself. So what are we going to do now? Well, I found out that the <coughs> master system adapter actually allows you to do this on the fly, um, to change it. So I've heard some soundtracks like here and there, but I've actually never seen it live in a game. So let's just use the same title music that we've been hearing, right? This one. And then let's go see what it sounds like when we change it. So I'm going to hit this menu button here. <clears throat> and I'm going to go down to return to main menu. All right. So then inside the game menu, you go into game menu and then game specific settings. And then you see there's select patch, which we don't have any patches right now. And then enable FM sound it's set to off. We're going to toggle that bad boy to on and then save it. And although save uh, state, blah, 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 uh, is room act, is room, is, do you want to remove uh, the auto save? State? Yes, we want to remove it. Okay, cool. So we are ready to rock. All right, let's go back and make sure that that setting saved. Whoops. Game menu, game specific settings. It is on. Let's hit play and see what happens. Nice. This is direct from, <clears throat> excuse me, this is direct from the cartridge itself. There's no other changes. There was no patching. There was no other downloads. This is just literally getting something right off of the cart. How cool is that? Let's take a listen.
So that's just really awesome, right? That these guys thought about this and said, hey, you know, the chiptune stuff was kind of cool, but we really wanted to kick it up a notch and make things sound a little better. And then in some of these games, and, it, and it, it's like the big hitters, right? It's Miracle Warriors, it's Fantasy Star, it's Ease One, it's all sorts of different games have these FM soundtracks in them. Um, so uh, as I do some of the gameplay stuff and I explore more of these uh, Sega Master System games, um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to check it out more, right? I'm going to check it out and then like we'll do some compare and contrast. Maybe I'll do some more videos about like you know what I feel like what's the better version do I like the chiptune version over the FM version um you know what do you guys think I mean I'm really into the whole video game music scene so you know if you guys you know want to like get down with this then you know let me know and I will totally do some more videos like this but for now if you've got a Retron 5 and you've got a 3-in-1 adapter just go back and you know watch those steps go straight into the menu it's really easy you just toggle the uh, FM sound. It's actually on by default. So you, if you wanted to change the soundtrack back, you know, you just untoggle it and then and then uh, you know load the game back up and then you're good to go. So let me go ahead and uh, transition back here, and we'll uh, see you in a second. So like I said, I mean, that was pretty awesome, and I thought that that was a really cool feature. I never knew that there you know in the game on the game chip you can actually like have the, the dual soundtracks and then put it through both modules and that they even thought about doing that it's just a really cool kind of like piece of history and stuff that makes the master system even cooler than i thought it was in the begin with so anyway like i said down below hit up the comments let me know what you think you know whether or not you want to see like more stuff about this you want to explore some video game tunes with you guys a little more let me know about that because i'm all about that i would love to do that with you guys and of course it's that time it's that friendly time of the video where i go hey let's go throw the friends some love check out oav pete link down below check out retro kill dash nine he's one of my other buddy or the other co-host of the evercast on saturdays he's got a new channel and he's got a video up so bam down below hit that link go see him go say hi see a red button yeah red hit the red button for him for oeb pete for me for my buddy chris the atari creep who's doing his walk down alzheimer stuff great work strong work support him as much as you can got some extra dough toss it his way we always appreciate that kind of stuff and also brother mike from original next level gaming thursday nights check him out got a great show coming up gonna be talking about all sorts of cool stuff in the world of retro and modern video games i cover it all over there on that channel there it's a bunch of great guys um over there so check them out they're a, a well founding member of the gamers united guild which we are a member of and we are very proud of that so if you want to know a little bit more about the Gamers United Guild or just want to see a little tease about what the Gamers United Guild kind of entails and who's involved, stick, uh, stick on below uh, or stick to us after the wrap, the wrap video, the, uh, the little bacon ice cream wrap um, animation, and we roll the Gamers United Guild bumper on the back of every video that we do now. So you can always check that out and... There'll be links down below to the original Next Level Gaming's channel. And I think he has on the show link every week, every single member of the Gamers United Guild. So you can check his show notes and then you can go and see all the other channels. And then you'll have all sorts of cool retro goodness and modern goodness and everything goodness to watch. So please check them out because it is awesome. And like I said, we are proud to be sponsors for that. And if Casey didn't forget... See the red button again? Yeah. If you could hit that for us on the way out, that'd be fantastic. We're trying to get as many subscribers as possible, bring you awesome content and more good times. But until then, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys.